The great O antiphons are a wonderful, if overly hidden, treasure of the church's life. Every day, at around uh, tea time or early evening, the church prays the words of the Virgin Mary, her song, the Magnificat. It's a prayer which sheds its own light on how we, like Mary, have received, proclaimed and rejoiced in the presence of God during the day coming towards its end. From the 17th until the 23rd of December every year, the Church prays its way towards Christmas in many ways, but one of its most beautiful is the great O Antiphons. Scripture never tires of revealing different aspects of God to us, and antiphons are short sentences drawn from the scriptures which highlight or emphasise one of these boundless aspects which help us at particular times of the year. In Advent they are called O antiphons because they cry out, O, O come. They are an invocation calling from the depths of the human soul to God to come, to draw close. They are placed at the beginning and end of Mary's song, the Magnificat, in these days which form the latter days of the sacred season of expectation we know as Advent. Because Mary herself knows the coming of Christ more intimately than anybody else. She therefore helps us to receive him more closely. The texts are ancient, timeless and deeply attractive. They are used in their original Latin to remind us of the journey through the course of time that our brother and sister pilgrims have already journeyed. You may be relieved that each one is translated into English. You may also find yourself wanting to look up the connections that these antiphons make with the scriptural account of salvation history. So perhaps use this as both prayer and study and exercise in developing our faith through head and heart. So as we journey through these final days of Advent, the great O antiphons are as follows. The 17th of December is called O Sapienta meaning O Wisdom. The 18th, O Adonai, O Lord. The 19th, O Radix Jesse, O Root of Jesse. The 20th is called O Clavis, O Key of David. The 21st, O Orients, meaning O Day Spring. The 22nd, O Rex Gentium, O King of the Nations. And the 23rd, O Emmanuel, O God with us. For each of these days, one antiphon will be read and a simple reflection given on them. I hope you find them to be a helpful way of praying our way through these later days of Advent until we reach the extraordinary feast of Christmas. Mm -hmm.